Hey guys, Dr. Josh Axe here, Dr. Natural Medicine and founder of DrAxe.com. In this video, I'll go through natural rosacea treatments, including the best essential oils, the best vitamins and supplements, the best herbs and diet to help you fight rosacea naturally, and really the top seven natural treatment options. Now, before we jump into it, let's talk about the root cause of rosacea and what it is. It's a skin condition characterized by flares of redness and inflammation on your cheeks. It affects 16 million people in the US alone, um, oftentimes can be correlated with spider veins. The underlying cause is still largely unknown. Possible causes include overactive immune system, leaky gut, whole body problems. But I will say this, within traditional Chinese medicine and TCM, it's known that rosacea is caused by issues related to the liver and gallbladder or the lungs and the colon together, and those things can all actually affect each other. So it's flaring up those specific organs, which I'll talk about more in a minute. Now, in terms of diet, the best diet includes a diet that is very high in organic fruits and vegetables, moderate amounts of healthy fats such as flax seeds, um, olive oil, um, and even things like coconut. Lots of organic clean protein sources, organic chicken and turkey, grass-fed beef, wild-caught fish, and anti-inflammatory foods and herbs. And then I would even say to a degree, whole grains like a sprouted whole rice, that should be the base of a diet for rosacea. Now, the big foods you wanna avoid, I'll tell you right now, are gonna be alcohol and caffeine, sugar and refined grains and processed foods, conventional dairy, and here's the big one, fried foods and hydrogenated oils. They cause something in the body called stagnation of the liver and gallbladder backing them up, which can cause inflamed and red skin. Those are the biggest foods to avoid. Now, another thing you wanna do is you wanna protect your face. You wanna get some sunlight, but not get too much sunlight. Use natural sunscreens there as well. And I would even recommend making your own sunscreen with something that has a little bit of zinc oxide and maybe like a geranium rose or rose essential oil, something very gentle on the skin. Again, geranium rose is ideal or geranium. Now, using natural moisturizers, what I would recommend, again, is getting a natural moisturizer that's essential oil based and adding a little bit, again, geranium rose to it and making sure your cosmetics are gentle, they're organic, and they're not gonna clog up the pores on your skin. Now, the other big thing you wanna do is manage stress levels. If you have anger, frustration, uh, resentment, impatience, uh, those emotions specifically will really back up the liver gallbladder and can also affect the lungs and colon, those organs that are chiefly responsible for those rosacea symptoms. And again, you wanna be doing things like take a relaxing healing bath at night, do yoga, go outside, and the ideal thing to do is walk outside on trails. That's probably the most healing you think you can do. Again, go in walking trails or hiking outside, the most therapeutic thing you can do for overcoming rosacea. Now, the big thing to know is understanding that these medications for treating rosacea do not treat the root cause of the condition. So again, again, you always wanna work with your physician, but no, this is not curing the problem, and also, no, this new vitamin D receptor antagonists are, are newer therapeutic option, but the big thing here, get vitamin D or supplement with vitamin D can help rosacea symptoms. Now, here's what I'd recommend in terms of essential oils. The top ones here being the most important. If you wanna use something topically, I'd recommend Roman chamomile, geranium oil, rose oil, or there's even a type called geranium rose. So chamomile and geranium rose are gonna be the most beneficial essential oils at treating the problem. Now listen, if you have very oily skin, tea tree oil can treat it. Lavender oil topically is very calming, but these two, chamomile and geranium rose, are the best at treating rosacea. And here's some other supplement options. Turmeric and ginger, we know, have great anti-inflammatory properties. Turmeric being up there nearing the near the top. Aloe vera, raw honey, bone broth, collagen protein powders, evening primrose oil, all of these supplements are great for rosacea. I would also mention supplements that really support uh, moving the liver or supporting liver detoxification, and two particularly are gonna be good. Milk thistle and bupleurum, okay? Milk thistle and bupleurum really support liver detoxification, which is gonna help rosacea. So those would probably be my top two herbs, milk thistle and bupleurum. These are commonly used 
in traditional Chinese medicine and Ayurveda. So remember this, if you want to get rid of rosacea, number one, get hydrogenated oils out of your diet. Do more fruits, vegetables, and herbs. You're going to see great results because of it. Protect your face from the sun or get a little sun, but not too much. Use natural moisturizers, manage stress levels, understand medications and use essential oils like Roman chamomile, geranium rose, and then again, use more natural op uh, options and supplements such as bupleurum and milk thistle are two of the best in digestive enzymes that are high in lipase. Hey, if you've enjoyed this live training video on rosacea treatments, hey, make sure to subscribe here to my channel. I've got a lot more videos coming out on how to use food as medicine, essential oils, and a whole lot more. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Hi, Dr. Axe here. I want to say thanks so much for checking out this YouTube video. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to get more great content on things like herbs, essential oils, natural remedies, and how to use food as medicine. Also, check out more of our content on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.